All right, so this move here I'm gonna show you, uh, it's basically like the regular charge move, except it's in between your pointer and your middle finger. Uh, a lot of tutorials show a charge move where uh, it is between that middle finger and ring finger. Uh, they also show you kind of flick it down and around so it goes, um, the gravity pulls it, which is great. I show my tutorials uh, for both these moves where you tuck the pen underneath your thumb. Uh, the reason I like to show these tutorials uh, with that is because when you uh, use gravity, you have to use your wrist to do it. Whereas when you do this flicking motion, it creates that spin. Your, your fingers will create and learn that spin a little bit easier. Okay, so uh, just going over this, it's the same exact move, except in between your middle finger and your pointer finger. Tucking the pen underneath your thumb for this move I'd say is easier too, because it's higher up in your hand. You don't have as much of a, um, much, much more of a flick with your rest of your hand when you're doing it. It's easy to just sit there. Um, you can control the pen more. You create that spin. And then once you get good at it, you can just use your fingers rather than having to create that motion which, either way, you can still do it. You'll still learn how to do it regardless. So, <clears throat> so take the pen in between your middle finger and your pointer finger. Tuck your pen in between your hand and your thumb. Create tension by pulling your hand back. Um, and it will want to release. So just slowly release it. You don't have to use a lot of pressure, but see what it's doing there. It just kind of creates a flicking motion. So when you do that, you're trying to flick it down and see how you catch it with your middle finger and your pointer finger, create that flick. Um, but what you're basically doing is your fingers will want to go like this. You know, when you're trying to spin it, it'll just try to go like this. What you want to do is when you flick it, you kind of leave it loose. You just create that motion and try to teach your fingers to create that spin. And the more you practice, the more you'll get it. But you'll just slowly get a little bit of a spin. You kind of have to use your hand, use that flick. And then, you know, the more you create that spin you won't even need to use your thumb um, but yeah and like I said it's great for creating different moves uh, to pass you know this this creates a spin to this finger well you can create this spin to other parts of your hand so it's great give it a try